We're, we're really proud to sponsor the RBC Emerging Artist Award. It's for artists who are early stage of their career and are building out that recognition that, that they need. And this year for the first time, it's acknowledging and recognizing a contemporary dance uh, performer and artist. Yeah, we're really excited to have Megan as the uh, recipients of, of this year's award. She's a graduate from University of Calgary in 2014. She's uh, produced and performed pieces in Alberta and in Finland. And maybe what's most impressive about Megan is her commitment and hard work, not only around her own dancing, but supporting peers and other dancers and the community overall. My name is Megan Mahalski. I'm a dance artist here in Calgary. Um, my practice includes performing, choreographing, and producing dance work. I'm also the co-creator of Project in Tandem and uh, YYC Contemporary Dance Training. I would say what inspires me the most about dance is, is the non-verbal communication. I would like to thank my mentors for their encouragement, Davida Monk, Mike Chuba, Jason Galeos, and Oliver Reyes. I would like to thank RBC for sponsoring the Emerging Artist Award and giving um, this platform of recognition. The Rosé Foundation is a, a philanthropic foundation that supports transformational leadership in the arts. And we do that in a number of ways. We have a granting program, we have a trio of arts leadership program, and we also have the, the annual Rosé Award for Excellence in Arts Management. And we do a lot of advocacy and research work. We introduced the Rosé Foundation Emerging Arts Administrator Award to recognize the incredible work of arts administrators who are still uh, learning and growing in their roles, um, but are already doing work that has tremendous impact for their organizations and on the sector as a whole. Uh, the work that Beth has done in a really short period of time has really been uh, phenomenal. She's come into this organization that already had uh, a track record of artistic excellence and has provided it with, with an administrative uh, foundation on which to build. My name is Bethany Yon and I'm the executive director of Cowtown Opera Company. Cowtown Opera Company is an opera company whose focus is on engaging Calgarians with opportunities to interact with opera in a fun, relatable and easy way. My focus over the past two years in this position has really been navigating a season of change, creating some stability and um, formulating processes and policies that help us really navigate the nuts and bolts of how we um, operate as an organization, how we communicate within our teams, how we reach out to the community and create relationships and sort of deepen our roots and further our reach within the cultural fabric of Calgary. I would really like to thank the Rosé Foundation, Calgary Arts Development, my board of directors and nominators, as well as the Cowtown leadership team, my husband and family, and just the greater Calgary artistic community who has really welcomed me with open arms these past two years. The award is the Sandstone City Builder Award, and it was established to recognize an artist or an arts organization that through their art has made Calgary a better place to live. The recipient of the award is J.P. Thibodeau of Storybook Theatre. Uh, we are presenting the award to him because he has created a community of professional and emerging artists and volunteers, families, children and youth and teen audiences and created this community where they can join together and partake in this shared experience of the theatre. JP's experience, connections, dedication, and creativity have really brought this small community theater into a flourishing semi-professional theater company and is Canada's largest volunteer-driven theater for young audiences. My name is JP Thibodeau and I'm the artistic producer for Storybook Theater. Storybook offers accessible theater programming for families here in Calgary. Uh, over the past 43 years, Storybook has been offering theater programming to uh, Calgary and area. And in the last five years, we've really focused our mandate on accessibility. And through our theater school programming, one of the big things that we've done is offered free programming to families who otherwise couldn't afford it. Uh, we also do that through the theater shows we present. And more importantly, we really focus on the emerging artists and offer them an opportunity to grow and learn here in Calgary. It's been a lot of hard work to create the programming we've been doing uh, and to be offering free programming here in Calgary on any level is difficult in and of itself, but to have it being offered, have it be successful, and more importantly, have it be acknowledged by the community is huge. 
Doing this work requires a whole team of people and I couldn't do it alone. I need to thank Eva Sieber, who works in our office, and Jolene Anderson, our board president, and of course my family, Tara, Isaac, and Evan, who are always there. Whether it's a FaceTime call at night or tucking them in at bedtime, it's important that they know that this kind of work needs to happen and they're a part of that in some way, shape, or form. And absolutely thanks to our sponsor, uh, Sandstone, for, for making this acknowledgement possible. The ATB Healing Through Arts Award was created for artists whose work specifically address health and wellness issues and improve the wellness of others. We understand the, the healing powers of art and, and, and how art expression can give hope and comfort and joy to others. So it was important for us to be part of an award that honors artists in the community that are improving the lives of others. Vivek is an accomplished artist whose multidisciplinary approach touches the lives of many people. A mentor, a community advocate, a teacher, using her skills and tools to really make a difference in the community. We at ATV really applaud the efforts and the ability that Vivek has to make a true difference in the lives of Calgarians. My name is Vivek Shreya and I'm an artist, a writer, musician, a visual artist, and filmmaker. A lot of my art tackles uh, themes like gender, sexuality, race, and religion, and the intersection of those experiences. I would say that throughout my artistic practice, I've turned to art as a way to heal my own trauma and also to try to make art to bring comfort to people who've had similar experiences, so to kind of build a sense of community through art. And this award feels particularly significant for me because it acknowledges that connection between art and healing. I would like to thank ATB for just having an award like this, again, that recognizes the power of art to heal and for um, honoring me with um, this award. And I would like to thank uh, my dear friend Trisha Yeo who uh, nominated me for this award. The agency actually for past uh, 20, uh, 38 years have been helping immigrant and refugees settling in Calgary and area and currently we have six offices in Calgary and 10 uh, offices, satellite offices in southern Alberta. Basically, we want to make that immigration a positive experience for community and the people they come here. Calgary gets about 20,000 newcomers from 120 different countries. People come here with a lot of hopes. Obviously, they have some fears, but we have to build on their hopes mainly. And uh, we know a lot of these people are talented, they are artists, they are musicians, they are photographers, they are painters. And this year Samuel from Nigeria, he's been only in Canada less than a year. And he and his wife came to Canada and he, they loved the Canada, he fell in love with Canada. And then he was one of the people that were nominated among many people that uh, we receive application. So Samuel was uh, the one that actually was picked by the uh, selection committee and we're very glad and he deserves it and he's going to do amazing work for everybody and he's going to put, introduce his art in a very different ways of really bringing people together, introduce the culture of Nigeria, but also uh, try to understand how this culture is impacting Calgary, how it's impacting us. And I think that is his mission now for the future. My name is Abadero Samuel, I'm from Nigeria. I'm a storyteller. Um, I use photography to tell my stories and it's an avenue for me to express um, whatever thought, whatever issues or stories around me and uh, I take pleasure in telling stories. I remember my mom told me that when she gave birth to me I had my entire left fist in my, heart, in my mouth. I had the speech deficiency so I, I, I stuttered a lot so I, I couldn't express myself. So for me the way I, out of that was, was um, drawing, writing, whatever it is, and eventually I found photography and it was just the perfect match for me. I found photography when there was still analog and I started taking pictures with film, but I never had the finance to develop this film, so I just took them anyways. Until some years later, I was able to do it. It opened up something in me and I just never stopped and never looked back. I'd like to say a big thank you to CCIS. They've been instrumental, tremendously instrumental to my settlement and my settling down in Calgary. Um, 
Without them, I would be unsettled right now. I also want to say a big thank you to Calgary Art Development um, for the voice they give to artists in the city. A huge thank you to them also. God bless them. As a proud Calgarian who could be described as the furthest thing from an artist, I have an appreciation for the value of art, the artists, and how it is that the work that the artists can be so passionate about can be shared with an entire population of a city. I think recognizing the component of leadership in that process is absolutely critical in ensuring that artists are able to do what it is they do best. Peter had an idea. He put together the pieces and then implemented the vision. The tireless work in really allowing the artists to do what it is they do and bring the benefit to the entire city. That, that's the reason he's deserving of the award. The concept of supporting artists, um, beautifying a neighborhood and sharing the art with an entire population is one that resonates with an individual like myself who believes that art is for the sharing. Um, my name is Peter Shrivers. I'm the Director of Public Art for the Beltline Neighborhoods Association and the Beltline Urban Murals Project. And what we do is we um, match up artists and building owners in our community to kind of uh, inspire uh, creativity through art and through murals and make our community a better place. There's a lot of blank canvases in our community and there's a lot of talented artists and so we really want to showcase that and make uh, art public and free for everybody. What does it mean to us to be nominated? Um, a lot, it means a lot. It's, it's a lot of hard work and a lot of volunteer hours and um, a lot of problems we have to solve and, and just being recognized, I think, is, is just really important to us and, and means a lot. I really like to thank Strategic for this. Um, they're a great community partner and their support really helps make our community a better place. Uh, I'd also like to thank uh, my partner in crime, Peter Oliver. He's been uh, an amazing support and couldn't do this without him and all the other volunteers um, that have worked on this project and all the artists who, not only the ones who have painted, but all the ones who submitted. We've been privileged to be able to um, be associated with this award. It is given to an artist um, who could actually live anywhere in the world, but they choose to make Calgary home. Oh, I've known George's work for years, actually. Uh, he was an institution at SAIT. Um, He's done phenomenal work in our province and around the world. But George is somebody who stayed in Canada, lived in Alberta, raised in Drumheller. But that's what makes Calgary what it is. And these awards are all part of that. What makes us so, I think you could say, interesting to other cities uh, and other people that they say, wow, you know what? Calgary's got an awful lot of things going for it. And it's especially important right now that we shout to the world what Calgary does have. And uh, I think that we're starting to do a good job. I think that, yeah, we were picked uh, 20th city in the world that people want to come and visit. But it's people like George that make it so. My name is George Weber. I've been uh, photographing the spirit, the energy, the stories of Calgary for over 40 years. When I'm out with my camera, I really strive to be one of those people on whom nothing is wasted. And that aspiration has uh, led me to a great connection and affection for the city. Um, of the uh, eight books that I've done in my career, two of them specifically focus on Calgary and elements of the, uh, the cultural and social history. I'm especially pleased and honored to be receiving this award from Doug and Lois Mitchell. Uh, I feel inspired and energized by that. I've also uh, been inspired over the years by my siblings. I'm the eldest of seven. I have four awesome sisters and two pretty good brothers as well. And uh, we've all uh, called Calgary home for many years and uh, it's, the city's been great to all of us.